For a very, very long time, we've been separate from the chimpanzee and gorilla lineage for about seven, maybe eight million years. It's about two million years ago you have our genus appearing for the first time, the genus Homo, um, and suddenly brain size increases quite dramatically. And, and for a while it's quite stable at that level and then it just takes off suddenly when you get to about maybe... Uh, 500,000 years ago, the appearance of archaic humans, the Heidelberg people, Homo heidelbergensis, uh, and then it increases very rap rapidly from about. 약 700만 년 전, 인류는 침팬지 계통에서 떨어져 나와 여러 갈래로 진화했습니다. 지구상에는 우리 호모사피엔스 말고도 최소 24종의 인류가 있었습니다. 어떤 종은 빙하기에도 존재했습니다. 그들은 극심한 추위와 싸워 이겨냈습니다. 어떤 종은 맹수와 사투를 벌이며 생존했죠. 그중 누가 우리의 조상인지 정확히 알지 못합니다. 그 수수께끼를 풀기 위해 탐구할 뿐이죠. I, th I think that everyone really wants to know where they came from. You know, we all have an interest in the past, our own ancestry. And of course, when we go into the deep past, we're looking at the ancestry of our own human line back millions of years. But what interests me also is not only our direct ancestors, but the other strange, if you like, kinds of humans which died out. So today we're in an exceptional time when there is only one kind of human on the earth. But even 100,000 years ago, there probably were at least four kinds of humans on the earth. And three of them, of course, are very different from us. And those three died out, and we're the only survivors. So why did these other species disappear? Uh, was it because of us? Did we outcompete with them, somehow almost kill them off? Or were there other reasons why we survived and they died out? So for me, that's still an unanswered question, uh, and it's one where we're trying to work and solve the problems. Spain is a country. 20세기 가장 위대한 고고한 유적지 중한 곳이죠. 100만 년 전부터 기원전후까지 인류가 살았던 주거지. 놀라운 사실이 밝혀집니다. 100만 년 동안 한 종만 산게 아니었습니다. 이곳에서 출토된 많은 뼈 조각들은 100만 년 동안 여러 인간 종이 살았다는 사실을 알려주었습니다. 인류는 침팬지 계통이라는 한 뿌리에서 파생됐지만 여러 종으로 진화를 거듭했습니다. 스페인에서 발견된 네 종의 인류는 가장 최근에 살았던 인류입니다. 이들은 왜 모두 사라진 걸까요?